Right, okay, somebody uh, on the Mod Studio 2 Discord server asked me to just do a quick video on how to skin the BDF Tandem Truck by Fleming V for HS2, uh, which is available on the SF forum in the uh, HS2 mods, models and trucks bit. Um, he provides you the template, which is basically those two bits at the bottom. Um, you can download that via the skin pack there. Uh, from his website. I always have to skin the pack up with main mod in the game list. Uh, mod list, remember that. So you got the main skin in there. Or you can download the white one, it doesn't really matter which. Uh, there's two of them, so that you got the system one, which is obviously the one with the circular uh, rear and front, and then you got your box trailer as well. Once you download that, you can edit it to your skin. Save it as a, a DDS texture, which you can get plugins for both Photoshop and Paint.net, GIMP, etc. Uh, make sure it's... Uh, I would probably make it... Well, if it's Photoshop, it, then it needs to be in... Oh, I don't know what it is. I think it's BC3, is it? I can't remember. Let's have a look. <laughs> I've got two different versions. Uh, let's say I've copy. It's a DDS because I've got the NVIDIA texture tools I have. Uh, so it would be, yeah, you want BC3 for Photoshop. Uh, and it'll be 32 bit for whatever uh, GIMP and that uses. Once you've done that, once you've got your skin files ready, I have two separate designs for the box and that. Um, you'll need to create a folder set up like this. So you'll have a universal folder. Don't mind me having two different versions. Mine changed because of the lighting conditions uh, in ETS2 version 1.37. You'll have a normal description file with a description of what your skin is. You'll have a manifest linking to both your icon there, which needs to be 276 by 162 pixels in JPEG format. Uh, you'll have a version number, author, and the MP mod optional uh, all in there. You'll have a, a vehicle folder. In the vehicle folder, you'll have a share folder. In a share, you'll have skin. In skin, you'll have free folders, accessory, cargo, and trailer. For accessory, you have the devil DDS file in there. It doesn't matter whether it's it's the box one or the system. I've discovered it doesn't really matter. I tend to use the box one there personally. Um, in your cargo and trailer, you'll have both a box and a system. So the box one will contain the box skin file, and the system is obviously going to be your tank one. Okay. Uh, you have one for trailer as well, and then there's two in box as well. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And then you just zip all that together. There's one mod. Uh, you can, so I use seven zip personally. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you have that as whatever. You can save it as a zip file. Uh, if you're loading to Steam, obviously you don't need to bother zipping it up. Uh, and you can obviously name it whatever you want to in your mod file. Uh, I don't know, say tandem. Yes, doesn't really matter what you call it. It's still going to end up being in that folder. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. It's that simple. So in here you'll find that we've got tandem.scs, of which is just your vehicle, chair, skin, accessory, cargo with you two, and then same with trailer. And yeah, that's it. That's all there is to it. So there you go. That's how easy it is. If you need help with your versions uh, sheet, you can go on the SS Wikipedia and have a look at the tutorials for the workshop uploader. So that takes you through all that. Okay. That's simple.